Folks, we're joined here by Barlow and Rachel, and uh, you guys are just attendees at TAM. Here, is this your first TAM? Yep. Yes, it is. Okay, and we just heard a really cool story. Uh, you might have seen in the news not too long ago, there was a little thing going on with the Mormon Church. Can you explain what just recently happened? Yeah, there was a mass resignation where we went to Enzyme Peak, and we got about 50 to 70 letters that day, people all resigning, and we went on a march, and uh, just had a good old time, carried some protest signs up a uh, really steep hike. It was a very interesting <laughs> protest march up a little dirt trail, a lot of zigzags, and I'm like, what? where are we going? But it was, uh, it was just a lot of fun. We hung out. and Did, did you guys imagine that it would turn into the new story that it turned into? Well, I, I hoped it would. I had no idea. <laughs> I think it should be. I think that's awesome that you know they can bring attention to this mass reg- resignation and... Yes. Uh, Nope. Show that we're, we're we got, like, happy and proud of it and, and excited about it. We got about 200 people to show up, I believe, as well. Even people who had already resigned or just haven't been able to resign yet because of issues with the family, but they still were there to uh, show support for everyone else who's doing it. It was awesome to see everyone together. Now, was everybody there for sort of their own personal reasons, or did you guys find that there was a lot of different reasons, or was everybody sort of resigning for the same overall reason? Well, yes, it turns out the church isn't true, so we figured we shouldn't be members of it anymore. So, but yeah, everyone has their own specific reasons, but... And their deconversion stories, and deconversion it's story. fun to learn about They why. are strikingly similar, though. A lot of Utah deconversion stories follow a lot of the same thing of just looking into the church's past, because it turns out that is a, a bad thing for the church if people look into it. <laughs> so Incriminating. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I was raised Catholic, and I remember someone telling me, we're Catholics, we don't read the Bible, that's what we pay the priest to do. And now I realize that was probably a bad thing to do. Yeah, if more yeah. people read the Bible, there'd be more atheists. Yeah, like, <laughs> like Penn says, yeah, if you, all you got to do is read the Bible. You don't need a study guide. It's in English. You can just read it and be like, wow, oh, this is total crap. So what brought you guys here to TAM? Uh, science and skepticism. Yeah. I just and we really love learning love, and yeah. watching all the TAM videos on YouTube and... Uh, listening to Skeptic's Guide and having everybody hype it up and loving James Randi. And so, yeah, we're just (sighs) so excited to be here. And I'm really trying to start promoting skepticism and uh, atheism in Utah, getting some things going. I organized a debate a couple weeks ago with a Mormon. That was a lot of fun to do. Uh, And so I figured this is the next logical thing to make sure I come here and talk to people such as yourself and (laughs) just have a lot of fun talking to fellow-minded people because they're aren't as many back uh, in Salt Lake. And did you yes. imagine that you would be here as the stars of one of those YouTube videos that you've seen being filmed by Mr. Deity himself, Brian Dalton, who is behind the camera, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> if you're wondering why the videography is so unbelievably impressive this time around, that's why. What do you, what do you think? Is this a surprise so for you? Excited. It, it is. I, I uh, did not expect to walk out of the bathroom and then have a fun interview with uh, Mr. Deity here. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thanks, guys, for joining us at TAM. Have a great time, and hope to see you in future years. Yeah, yeah thanks. Nice to meet you. Bands as well. I know.